so surreal Was you honest with your man? This one can break the deal This one can take the cake This one can give me chills Ooh, I know Guess I can't take the price now What up, Almy? Esoteric shit is separate from time. You know I see me on my body. We about to, we about to do a little mind. stretch with the coach. Give you shit if you gonna keep it inside. We about to do a little stretch with the coach. Personal, reconcile, merciful, we decide. We wanna get real. We know that side and that's still. You need your hair done. Come pay your bills, girl. I'm seat though. You gotta chill. I got cheat codes. Yeah, like for real. It's worldly though. I'm in the field. I'm in that field with these niggas on the field. I don't play nice. I don't even like likes, but I want a ball, baby, yeah, like Mike. So what we do, get the flight, get the baggage, get the claim, all right? Yeah. Keep it honest, keep it real. Yeah. Show them how you feel. This one to be clear. Life is so surreal. Was you honest with your men? What up, y'all know? This one can break the deal. This one can take the cake. This one can get me what chills. Up? Kelsito, Spirit Coach, getting you in shape and form for the age of Aquarius yet again. Shout out to everybody in the house tonight. You know what I'm saying? Welcome to Let's Build. This is the Star Stretch. That intro song was just a song that I dropped. You know what I'm saying? A little personal, personal point five. You know what I'm saying? You got to have your personal point five to be in your zone, to be inspired. Okay? So that's what you got to do. You got to have your personal point five. You know what I'm saying? Whatever you do, whatever your personal point five, don't matter. It could be your meditation, it could be a song, it could be music. You know what I'm saying? Whatever gets you in a good mood, whatever creates good thoughts and feelings, because that's what we doing. You know what I'm saying? We just creating good thoughts and feelings. We know when we do that, you know what I'm saying? That creates a certain blood flow. You know what I'm saying? Just like if you just think of depressed thoughts all day, guess what? You know what I'm saying? That's creating a, you're creating your heart rate to beat a certain way. Whatever you're sniffing, whatever you're intaking, you know what I'm saying? That's creating mental uh, uh mental patterns and shit you know what i'm saying whatever man it's it's it, it, it's creating your blood flow okay so you gotta understand that you know what i'm saying you gotta get your you know how to know how to create your own original thought and feeling and shit like that and once you know how to do that shit you good to go but that shit ain't no easy task because you know what i'm saying we depended on the world we depended on like external things and shit like that, you know what I'm saying? We depending on food to get us going. We depending on, you know what I'm saying? This person to get us going, you know what I'm saying? We don't never take that little time to ourselves and be like, well, you know what I'm saying? Well, maybe I can actually utilize the time and maybe this time is for me to actually be in my imagination, be with my gift, be with my creativity, be with how I see the world on a solo level. You know what I'm saying? So. You know, we don't do that. You know what I'm saying? You got to get out of whack. But for the most part, we in this world, we are getting affected by things just like the transits and things of that nature. So that's why I like to come in here and do esoteric stretches with y'all. You know what I'm saying? So that we can all be on one accord and we can actually know what's going on and what the what uh, what, what alignment is happening in the sky. You know what I'm saying? And uh, what it's hidden for. You know what I'm saying? And so when we exercise what we receive on an internal level, from our mental state, you know what I'm saying? This is will create good blood flow if you know how to do it. 
And then shit. Then you in the world at that point. But you know what I'm saying? We still in every season. So you got to know everything is a season. You know what I'm saying? Every season is that cardinal fire. It's the beginning. It's the birth. It's the springtime and things. You know what I'm saying? It's the springtime. And so, you know, uh, right now you should be giving birth to something. Personally, you all got your own internal seasons in astrology. You know what I'm saying? That's another thing. You all, We all got our own internal seasons and shit like that. Shout out to Marlo. Shout out to Papa Dave. Shout out to Gang. Gang and his thing. Yeah, but we all got our internal seasons and shit. You know what I'm saying? So, um, <clears throat> you know, those play out like our you know what I'm saying, our, our internal seasons, but that would be based on your moon and shit like that and wherever the, 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 wherever the sun go over your mother, when, you know what I'm saying, like when the sun go over your motherfucking, uh, whatever your moon sign is, that would be like your first house in like the, uh, the OG astrology type of way. But that's some information, that's some soul group information, so y'all gotta Pete Dolo and his shit, you know what I'm saying, for that one. But, um, but yeah, we gonna get into these esoteric stretches and things of that nature. Because yeah, let's get it. Uh, I got my let me get my motherfucking playbook real quick. Yeah. All right. So right now we got the sun and Aries, so we still paying attention to our passions, our motivations, and things that motivate us, like things like competition. You know what I'm saying? Things like competition, things like. Anger, aggression, you know what I'm saying? Y'all saw the shit happen yesterday with Will Smith, you know what I'm saying? That's how I get, you know what I'm saying? Birth, it just don't give no fuck, you know what I'm saying? When we talk about Aries, that is cardinal fire creating and initiating a new way to see and feel. And so you got to think, well, what does fire do? It burns through reality. So yes, Will Smith was in that, you know what I'm saying, um, in, that, in that arena and space of things, but he didn't give a fuck about nothing but about what he wanted to do and that was slap the shit out of Chris Rock you know what I'm saying so when you went every season you know what I'm saying you gotta kind of watch getting and you know um this is this is the season of birth passion anger frustration so you might you know what I'm saying disconnect and burn through everything and just find your ass with your hand against Chris Rock face you know what I'm saying and also he a Libra too so you know what I'm saying he opposite you know what I'm saying they opposite signs and shit um, but yeah, so yeah, that, you know, that's, that's what happened. You know, that's what, that's what go down in every season. You might get slapped, you know what I'm saying? You might get cussed out, arguments happening left or right. You know what I'm saying? That's just how it go. You know what I'm saying? But, shit, you know, I go, but yeah, but anyway, moon in Aquarius. So we still react and responding to our associations, how we associate ourselves amongst others. So we're going to be reacting and responding to Aquarius energy, which is fixed air, being fixated on our own way of thinking and communicating right now is cusp and Pisces. So we still got a little bit of, oh, well, we still kind of doing that now with our dreams and imagination. So we trying to figure out, we, we're, we're, we're trying to loosen, um, um, well, we're, we're still reacting, responding to, to that water, that mutable water. So that's being mutable to your own and others' emotions and shit like that. You know what I'm saying? So where we were fixated on our own way of thinking and communicating, you know what I'm saying? Now we're about to be uh, releasing from that on an emotional level. You know what I'm saying? So you guys probably been trying to already feel in a release right now in some way, shape, or form, or something that was on your mind that feels like it needs to be released. You know what I'm saying? So right now, but it still looks like that fire. It still looks like passion. It still looks like it's all on you. It still looks like it's on you as an individual as far as what you want to express yourself and see yourself doing. You know what I'm saying? And you cannot know how that look right now based on it just being fire. It has to be an inspiration. So that means you have to just go for it. That means you have to just act on it. You know what I'm saying? You being a motherfucking, uh, whatever your sign is, you know what I'm saying? And if y'all want readings, y'all can hit me out, do your readings and shit like that. But for the most part, you know what I'm saying? The, the energy right now is airy. So you got to see yourself doing something. You got to see yourself being passionate and you got to burn through reality in some shape or form, some way, shape or form. Now you got to know that on a percentage level, you don't want to go too far, you know what I'm saying? And implement the wrong you know what I'm saying, the wrong steps, aka you being too overly aggressive and you allowing yourself to go, um, you are, you allowing yourself to get overly frustrated and that would sleep, that would sink into the lower half of the Mars energy, which would be kind of like Scorpio energy and you being internally frustrated. But right now you want to be externally 
um, a free in a sense as far as with your expression. So find some way to do that. Whatever you're doing right now, get into your creativity, whatever, you know what I'm saying, right now. And do that amongst what right now we're doing that amongst our associations things like the internet you know what i'm saying so we might be you might even be paying attention to a bunch of social media um social media like conversations and things of that nature you know what i'm saying on a on a one on one on one on one level and trying to find your individuality in some way shape or form you know what i'm saying so that's what we all trying to do find our individuality especially with these two sextile and planets right now I mean, well, yeah, um, sextile, because uh, Aries sextile, Aquarius, aka Aquarius being the 11th house, 60 degrees to Aries, which is the first house, okay? So everybody's trying to find a new individuality in this new world, in this new realm of reality that we come culminate in, you know what I'm saying? Now, it's certain things obviously you can do, you know what I'm saying, as a magician, right? You know what I'm saying? But you have to understand how to work your magic. Now, if it's a fire element in the sky, what we do, you know what I'm saying, you know, you can light a candle, you know what I'm saying, it's so many different prayers, it's all about the mind, though, you know what I'm saying, so it's really no no right or wrong to doing anything, you just have to understand, you know what I'm saying, alchemy and elements, fire, that's expression, that's vision, that not like the fire not like the fire in the motherfucking one, two, and third dimension, which we see as the flame, but AKA just having, just having an inspiration, a way to a certain action. That's how fire plays out mentally. You get what I'm saying? Water. Water represents your emotions and connecting. Okay, so water, so that's why all water signs, they may be emotional. That's why they like to connect. You know what I'm saying? That's why they like to, you know, um, um, connect uh, uh, you might you might call them emotional that's why they might care the most they might have the most charity they might be in their feelings the most you know what I'm saying air signs thinking now air is like cold you know what I'm saying so we like to be like dry practical you know what I'm saying uh, we can be flighty we can not like to be seen sometimes we can be low-key some sometimes we like to be seen to based up based on how our thoughts develop you know what I'm saying but air signs is straight like that Okay, 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 we back, we back. And then you got five, uh, then you got earth signs. Earth represents that practicality. You know what I'm saying? Not like physical earth like they taught y'all in his in your in the school books and shit like that. That's not earth. No, we own water. So we you know what I'm saying? But yeah. I don't know. I feel a lot. Uh, are you an air sign? Obviously, yeah, hell yeah. Air air signs feel a lot because we understand the mind. You know what I'm saying? Like we understand thoughts and thoughts, thought process and, and thought. You can feel a lot just on that. You know what I'm saying? Now every spirit still has feelings in some way, shape, or form. You know what I'm saying? We still all got masculine, feminine pro, um, principles and things of that nature. So don't ever forget that. You know what I'm saying? But <clears throat> you know, it, it, we still we but we just have these as um, like these chakras that we kind of built like from like past lives or some shit like that you know what i'm saying but yeah yeah but yeah aquarius especially aquarius because that's that fixated air you know what i'm saying so that's like being in a container or something like that you know what i'm saying that develops like moisture and shit you know what i'm saying like fixed air you know what i'm saying and that you know that's gonna create like a cycle within itself so you know what i'm saying aqua is for sure an emotional sign you know what i'm saying but our just emotions are different though like Cause we got we ruled by Uranus as well, you know what I'm saying? But yeah, but Earth signs, Earth signs. If you if you're um if you if you, well Earth the element of Earth is just doing something practical and routine, um 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 in routine pattern. You know what I'm saying? Anything that's structured, anything that's anything that's stepping. She said, "What's a basic rule why we are in Aries to keep peace?" Um, the basic rule in Aries to keep peace is to, well, peace, well, first you have that, well, peace is like, peace is basically, uh, uh, your own space. That's what peace is. It's a peace, what you're asking, peace, a peace is, is your own space, right? And if you want to maintain your own space, you know what I'm saying? You have to understand like basic principles that first of all, spirit is the space. So you, you always got your own space, right? Because you got your own way to think. You got your own ability to think and feel your own way, a.k.a. your masculine and your feminine principle, a.k.a. masculine externalized, 
feminine feminine receive so we all we doing this all day we can re receive feelings and we can and we can give off how we receive about it right and so the basic way to keep peace is to feel how you want to feel about something regardless if it's negative or positive you know what i'm saying this is how you this is um this is how you um um learn how to direct your your like your mental energy you know what i'm saying like peace like it, it start it's you have to understand how things built from the internal realm external you know what i'm saying like if you if you're not seeing it from that point of view like you'll be thinking that peace has to come to you and you don't peace won't come to you you are peace but as a spirit like we're no things so we like to we have to create peace we have to give off peace and sometimes peace is just an energy you know what i'm saying in a sense of oh i want to be nice and shit like that sometimes peace could be you cussing a motherfucker out you know what i'm saying or doing some shit like that you know what i'm saying but it's just all about how you like you know what i'm saying it's all you got know, like that suggested reading or links um suggested reading links um I would suggest that you get your um like your birth certificate and like yeah. Yeah. Or get your birth certificate, your birth time, and then like start off with your sun moon and ascendant. And then once you start off with your sun moon and ascendant, um um learn like the I was saying the elements and then learn like moon transits. And yeah. But if that makes sense, you know what I'm saying? But but like I guess uh, just a, a a regular astrology birth chart reading, you know what I'm saying? But once you get your birth chart, you know, you know, yeah. But other than that, like yeah, oh yeah. So for the most part, um, she said thank for explaining to the people. Yeah, thank y'all, thank y'all, appreciate y'all. Um, but yeah, we're about to go into Moon into Pisces. Okay. So we're going to be, uh, we're going to be, um, in La La Land pretty much for the next couple of days. You know what I'm saying? Um, AKA that's that mutable water being mutable to your own and others emotions. Okay. So you're going to be hyper aware of how you feeling and others feelings and shit like that. So don't try to, you know what I'm saying? Make others, you know what I'm saying? Don't try to be too much imaginative about, you know, how other pay people may feel about you. You know what I'm saying? Or don't try to super project. Uh, uh, on what you think somebody may feel about you and shit like that because these imaginations are still going to look like yourself they still going to look like Aries they still going to look like what's personal and shit like that and so you don't want to like project you know things you know what I'm saying about yourself that ain't true in the world you know what I'm saying because people pick up and once they pick up on them senses and shit and they see you be like in a weak or a vulnerable space they'll use that against you you know what I'm saying my kids trying to break in I'm sorry. I'm alive, I'm alive. Uh -oh. Yeah, but um, yeah, they trying to break in on me. You hear me? Okay, but yeah, back to back to what we were saying. All right, let's get back to it. Um, let's get to the alignments before we we wrap up the actual esoteric stretch. The actual actual esoteric stretch. Okay. Um, all right, so we got right now we have the sun conjunct Mercury. Okay, what up, Tiffy? How you doing? Shout out to you, soul group in the house. Sun conjunct Mercury. This is uh, analyzing our actions. So we're gonna be analyzing like our actions and like what is prevalent in the world. You know what I'm saying? Everything's gonna be super talked about. Sun is on Mercury. Sun represents our action. Mercury represents, you know, and what we see as a whole. That's what the sun represents. And um and our conscious aware and conscious awareness and you know what I'm saying that energy in general and all of you got your own solar plexus you know what I'm saying you got your own ability to be consciously aware of what you aware of um, nobody can be consciously aware of what you aware of but you but we all can get an idea of what we can all be consciously aware of you know what I'm saying but yeah sun on Mercury so this is um so we're gonna be paying it we're gonna be uh, communicating um, what we see you know what I'm saying a lot of analyzation and thinking about what's seen and shit like that. Even like, you know what I'm saying? Hate to bring it up. Will Smith, you know what I'm saying? That was talked about what Mercury rules. You know what I'm saying? Sun on Mercury, a lot of chitter chat about what's popular. 
you know what I'm saying, or whatever, or you're just gonna be analyzing your personal, um, uh oh, kids is fighting, um, mama got him now, I'm sure, um, son, uh, on Mercury, you know what I'm saying, you're gonna be analyzing your, you know, which you, your expression, your personal expression, or your life in general, a whole lot of thinking there, though, a whole lot of thinking there, all right, Sun, Sextile, Venus, this is opportunity to appreciate your actions. So you got the opportunity to appreciate your actions and what you see as well. You know what I'm saying? So you can appreciate what you see. Make sure, you know what I'm saying, you ain't appreciating just shit that's bringing you downhill, though. You know what I'm saying? You got an opportunity to appreciate all type of shit. Sun, Sextile, Saturn, this is opportunity to see reality. So we all see in reality in a new way. You know what I'm saying? We, we got the opportunity to see reality right now. Sun square Pluto. This is learning to put depth to an awareness. So we putting depth to old things and things that we don't want necessarily want to be aware of anymore. You know what I'm saying? When we got the sun uh, square Pluto learning, put depth to awareness and shit like that. And so like we putting that depth to a whole, uh, like a whole old sphere of, re of reality. And, and like anytime you got the sun, square Pluto that is actually crazy you know what I'm saying like we, you know what I'm saying we putting up we're, we're learning about the depth of something you know what I'm saying seeing and focused on and what's paid attention to a lot you get what I'm saying yeah moon in conjunct Venus so we're gonna be reactive to love so we're gonna be highly reactive to love matters right now and things you know what I'm saying and, and what we want to give our time to and what we want to appreciate we're gonna try to we probably gonna be like reflecting on these things heavy you know what i'm saying seeing why we appreciate these things shout out to aries full moon uh we got moon in conjunct mars so we're gonna be reacting to our passions thoughts about the triple aries conjunctions coming up on april 1st on the first um, on the first what's what's conjuncting i don't even know i haven't even looked into that let me know what's conjuncting um, then we got moon in conjunct Saturn. So this is reacting to reality. So we're going to be reacting to reality and y'all see reality is changing. So you got to get with the program. You got to be brand spanking new. You got to be something nobody never seen before. Um, I'm saying. um but yeah, that, that triple conjunction sound crazy. I, I fuck with conjunction. I, my whole life is a conjunction. You know what I'm saying? I got hella planets in the first house. Like like six planets in the first house. I got hella planets in Aquarius. I got hella planets in uh and um and uh <laughs> I got hella planets in um Capricorn too. So my life is an in conjunction. A conjunction I mean, you know what I'm saying? Conjunct it. It can play out, y'all. It can play out like uh sextiles, it can play out like Trines, it could play out like squares, it could play out like all that. Y'all know how it come. It y'all know how it come. Okay. Um, but yeah, so I'm super alien, super alien boss boy, super alien bossito, super unique boss, triple agent, double O Cito, Suave. Had your kids, had your wives. You know what I'm saying? Conjunctions are our powers. Uh, we, when you learn to balance it and not let it overwhelm you, absolutely, yes, yes, absolutely. Shout out to just be free too. That's how a conjunction works. You know what I'm saying? But yeah, because it can't overwhelm you. You know what I'm saying? Because it can seem like too much to bear. But once you understand, like, like you don't have to necessarily actually look at it from that certain perspective. You know what I'm saying? You can actually put it to use. You know. And that's how you can use it help in astrology, you know. But yeah, let's move on. Um, so we're gonna be reacting to reality with the moon in conjunct Saturn. Moon square Uranus, uncomfortable with change, and so you might be uncomfortable with change going on you, or you're gonna be learning about how to be comfortable with this change going on. Mercury square Pluto. This is struggling. Um, to learn about our thoughts. So we're gonna be str struggling and learn about who we are, who we think. You know, we are, it's going to be a power struggle with thinking and trying to take power control over thoughts and thinking in that nature. But now you know it's a motherfucking alignment. You know what I'm saying? You, you, you stretch, you prepare. You know what I'm saying? We just did the mental stretch. You prepare. So it's like, 
So it's like, you know what I'm saying? Like, you know how you, when you stretch and then you go pick up some and have it be way, like, easier? It's like that. It's like that with the coach. You feel me? It's just, it's nothing, nothing different. Nothing different. Just mentally. Just mentally. Just men, just mentally. Get your ass shaped for, for the age of Quay. Mentally. Mentally. Spirit coach. Spirit coach. Hit you right there in the spirit. Spirit realm. Time out. There's no time here. All right? All right. Um, Mercury conjunct Neptune. It's creative thoughts, okay? So you're going to have some creative thoughts. You're going to have the ability to think creative. Being a creative, you might have been thinking about creativity or thinking about imagination or thinking about a dream that you want to have. And you can dream that shit. You can do that shit. Don't, don't let no, nobody tell you you can't. You can transform your motherfucking life, okay? Don't overthink it. This should be simple. You know what I'm saying? It should be sound kind of. I'm looking for the charger, but what is going to go out? It's like kind of bright. Shockers, very bright. Yeah. All right. Then we got, uh, what do we have next? Venus. Oh, yeah. Venus conjunct Mars. Okay. So we still appreciate passion. Per my son. Here we go. Here we go. Here we go. Hold on. Let me take it. back down we back up back down we back around we don't really deal with up down or left right you know what i'm saying we beyond that distance and closeness we only get closer or away or, or further away you know what i'm saying we gotta know the distance okay so yeah venus conjunct saturn appreciating boundaries appreciating building you know what i'm saying so you want to appreciate building appreciate boundaries Appreciate anything that looked like structure. Appreciate anything that looked like it's worth giving your time to. Appreciate anything that's, you know what I'm saying, that's bringing you to reality. Appreciate reality. Don't disregard reality, okay? Because it's going to be right in front of you right now and right in front of you to appreciate. So appreciate it so that you can understand that whatever you, you can hop on these tough times or whatever, and you know what I'm saying, go through the experience that you actually need to go to to learn what you gotta learn to, you know what I'm saying, to go to the next level, to build your building blocks, to go up your stairs, you know what I'm saying? Now, Venus is now in Aquarius, you know what I'm saying? Saturn is now in Aquarius, so you know, that's the 11th house, our associations. So you know what I'm saying, you wanna get with an association. Now these people might not be like family or friends right now, you know what I'm saying? But these might be a group of people that you might see on the internet, or these might be a group of people that you might see, you know what I'm saying, that you might watch on YouTube, you know what I'm saying? Um, this is what you should be uh, uh, um, paying attention to as far as appreciating. Appreciate people that's giving you information right now with Venus and Aquarius. Appreciate constructing that information, okay? Appreciate um, um, people that's uh, um, that's passionate about doing things and connecting. And not saying you got to be a close to these people. Like, this is the 11th house. It's, it's not like the first house. It's not personal people. It's not people you might not necessarily value on a level of Taurus, you know what I'm saying, where you where you want to build with these motherfuckers um and and you 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 want to do it with them you know what i'm saying but it's people that more so that can probably put you onto some game that can probably put you onto some information you know what i'm saying these are the people that you need to be listening to taking information from right now you know what i'm saying whatever you appreciate now what that now who those groups of people are for you i don't know you know what i'm saying but Back. All right. Mars conjunct Saturn. Uh, uh, Mars conjunct Saturn. Birth and reality. Birth and reality. So we gonna be birth to give it birth to a new reality. We kind of been doing that right now, and it may be hard. You know what I'm saying? If you're a passive person, if you're not creative, if you don't have no creative imagination, you know what I'm saying? It may be hard for you. Get up. Get some esoteric push-ups going, and get your life.
Okay? That means you hold your weight. Esoteric. That means you hold your weight. Okay? Yeah, I mean, take responsibility. Okay? Mars square Uranus learning to change passion. You know what I'm saying? So you got to learn how to be unique about what's individual. You got to be learn how to be passionate about individuality right now. You got to learn how to be passionate about being different right now. You got to learn about that. Jupiter conjunct Neptune. So you're going to be expanding a dream or illusion. Okay? When we deal with Jupiter, Jupiter is expansion, travel, uh, wisdom, experience that ultimately leads to meaning, reasoning, and wisdom. That's what Jupiter represents, all right? And Neptune is the planet of imagination, creativity, delusion. So, you know, when those two conjunct, you know what I'm saying, you get an expanded imagination. And now you have Sito, the spirit coach, in spirit form, in front of you telling you some spirituality shit. All right? So it don't go no further than that. All right? It's very simple. All right? But you're going to have expanded awareness, expanded imagination expanded creativity you know what i'm saying and so you know you want to you know you experience this and learn from this so you can get the benefits and the mental information that you need to be able to go through the shift in the next state of being in the next form of life all right it don't go no further all right and then we got neptune sextile pluto oh this is a big one this is a big one this is a general everybody doing this one right now taking control over your dreams Okay, so you got to be, so when you got Neptune sextile Pluto, Pluto is the planet of struggle and just trying to take power control over something, you know what I'm saying? And when it's sextiling Neptune, you know what I'm saying? What are you trying to take power control over? Your imagination, your creativity, you know what I'm saying? But we all kind of doing that on a collective level because this is in Pisces. So you kind of want to do this with people. You kind of do want to do this with groups of people. Remember, relationships are important. Are important. Okay, people are important. Teamwork make the dream work. It don't happen without each other. You feel me? So for the most part, you know what I'm saying. That's the alignments for tonight. And you know, as far as me, you know what I'm saying. What I got coming up, you know what I'm saying. I have a new single dropping. You know what I'm saying. Next week next month i mean you know what i'm saying and just a lot more things coming up this year i know y'all been seeing i've just been very consistent and just doing my thing um just because i like doing it and then just you know it's me who i am and you know i know how to make a bunch of money and do my shit off of who i am because i'm me and i know things you know what i'm saying but i don't know nothing that y'all don't already know and so that's why i'm kind of putting y'all back on the game and you know what I'm saying, just reminding you that you know you're a powerful spirit and that you you know you can you can do it. You know what I'm saying? It's just you about finding your way. Motherfucker, I found my way, so it's he's now we're here. Yeah. Get y'all ass in the game.